Hey guys, it's Nicholas here from UpgradeToLife.com and welcome to this video which is called The 3 Keys to Manifest Your Desires Successfully. So without any delay, I'm going to share these 3 keys with you right now and then we're going to talk about them one by one. So this is what Neville Goddard said. The man who at will can assume whatever state he pleases has found the keys to the kingdom of heaven. The keys are first, desire, Second, imagination. And third, a steadily focused attention on the feeling of the wish fulfilled. To such a man, any undesirable objective fact is no longer a reality. So I want us to quickly talk about this quote and then again, then again we will talk about desire, imagination and steadily focused attention. So first of all, Neville is making the bold statement here. Anyone, right, if you can assume whatever state you want, because you know, first of all, that creation is finished, right? You watched my long manifesting guide 2022 video, which you can uh, check out above. I will link this above right now, where I explain these fundamental concepts and principles to you. And you know that all states are available within you, that you don't have to prove anything to anyone to get into a state, to assume a state, to be in a state, that you can do this right now because it's available for you. And there is no external power that can hold you back to imagine something else for yourself then you realize that the kingdom of heaven is not any mystical place. It's, it's just a term. These are just words. But that inner abundance, that inner wholeness, that inner greatness, that inner limitlessness, that is within you. Right? You are whole. You are abundant. When you find this kingdom of heaven within yourself. I also have a video called The Kingdom of Heaven is Within You. You can also check this out above if you like to. It's a little bit older video, but I'm sure you were still going to enjoy it. And then when we now learn that, okay, all states are available, the state that I desire, right, my desire, your desire, the things that you desire, you having them, you experiencing them, it's just another state of consciousness, right, another state, another identity of you. And because creation is finished, that is available. So if you do desire it, it's already available, but you have to align with it. You have to, like, match up with it. You have to be it within, but it's already within you. It's already available. You don't have to create it. You simply have to... Um, Put your awareness on it so that you can open up this new portion of creation, right? This already existing version of you and this already existing reality in a sense, right? So that is, first of all, the first statement, right? That when you can assume that, when you master the art of moving states, of shifting into your end, remaining there, and you kind of know the, the philosophy behind that, then you will find the kingdom of heaven. You will see that you're truly, truly abundant from within. Right? And what are the th these three keys to make this shift happen, to assume your end state? The first key is desire. Right? You need like a strong burning desire to change, to have new circumstances. You, the other key is imagination. You need to apply your imagination consciously to identify with that desired state. And the third key is a steadily focused attention on feeling that you already have it, on really you know, entertaining in your consciousness, in your awareness, the feeling... Of, of satisfaction, of relief that this is already yours, that you are already it, right? And if you master that, if you get better at this, if you practice that, and if you see results with that, then to you, any undesirable current circumstance, any undesirable objective fact, any present circumstance of your life that you don't like will no longer be a reality, you will no longer feel like set in stone. Because if you don't like it, if it's undesirable to you right now, if it makes you feel limitless or stuck, that's okay. You feel triggered, so meaning you have a new desire, and when you know those three keys, you're then no longer stuck. You're then no longer on a plateau because you can then move to the next level, to your wish-fulfilled state. So that is what I want to explain to you right now with these three keys. Let's go into the first one, which is desire. So Neville said, all transformation, and every change in your life begins with an intense burning desire to be transformed. The first step in renewing the mind and getting something new and shifting to a new state is desire. Right? You must want to be different before you can begin to change yourself. You must have a desire. Without desire, there is no movement. But desire leads to movement. Desire leads to um, this yeah, intense want to make something happen, to change something. If that's a desire to, to, to bring out a new product, if that's a desire to be in a new relationship, if that's a desire to be in your desired relationship, if that's a desire to be more wealthy, if that's a desire to be more healthy, it doesn't matter. These are all just desires. If that's a desire to, you know, be liked, be wanted, be adored, be famous, it really doesn't matter. These are simply desires. And if you have the desire, that's the first 
you know, step, the first stage in a sense is you have a desire. And again, in this video that I linked previously within this video called Manifesting Guide 2022, that you will find if you click the little I uh, next to my next to my head, there you can check out this, this long guide where I'm giving you the full overview on how this works. So with all your heart, you must want to be different from what you are right now, right? You must want something different in your life, some new circumstances. Be someone else, identify with something else, have something else present in your life as new results, as new circumstances. Intense burning desire is the mainspring of action, the beginning of all successful ventures. This is the great thing, right? Desire is hidden identity. What you want, you already are. I made an entire video with this title called Desire is Hidden Identity. I will link this above right now because when you desire something, the fact alone that you can be conscious of it, that you can be aware of it, that you can imagine it, that this is already within your awareness, the fact alone that this exists, that this exists, means that the state exists because you can imagine that it's fulfilled, meaning that does exist as a potential, that does exist as a possibility, as a possible currently unseen reality that you're not identified with yet. And if you accept that state, if you realize that it is already an existing identity of yours and that you are already it, that you already have it and you make it natural to shift in it, then it can show up. Okay, so check out the video that I linked called Desire is Hidden Identity. That's the first key, right? Desire. You need a desire. And I'm sure by you watching these videos, by you engaging in Nebel's like, principles and the law of assumption, you have certain desires. You know what you want. That's the first key. Knowing what you want, defining that. The second key is imagination. And we all have imagination. That's the core of our being. It's not a nice tool that you sometimes can access, sometimes not. That's the that's the essence of your being. You always imagine ahead of your senses. Imagination is, you cannot turn this off. You always imagine if you want this or not. Right? But you can gain the control of your imagination and only entertain things that you want to shift into, that you want to identify with next, that you want to bring into your experience next. So absolutely crucial. You can experience your heart's desire through the use of your imagination. Nothing is impossible to your imagination. Your imagination is unlimited in what it can accomplish. If you can imagine something, you can achieve it. Very simple. But there's nothing really to add here. If you can imagine it, if you can be aware of it, if this is already possible for you to, to think of and to imagine, then you can achieve it. It is available because you cannot imagine something that does not exist. Everything that you can imagine and even way more than that, right? But everything that you do imagine because that's your desire and everything that you can imagine does exist. And because it exists, it's available. It does exist within this infinite creation, within this infinite field of possibilities. So therefore you can align with it by you imagining the end, but more on that later, right? But the key message here is that by you experiencing your desire within your imagination, within your internal world, right? As being fulfilled by you placing your awareness on what it would be like if you would already have achieved it. That is how you can shift into the state of having it, into the state of being it. And that is then how the mirror of life can reflect that back to you, can confirm that to you, can manifest that for you, right? The way to use your imagination creatively is this. Relax in a chair or on a bed and close your eyes. First, you determine what you wish to experience, right? You clearly state, this is what I want and nothing less. You don't compromise, right? You don't accept anything less than your ideal. And then in this state of complete relaxation, in a state where your your mind, you know, is, 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 is calm, it's kind of relaxed, you bring to mind the end result of what it is you desire, aka you imagine the end, aka you go to the end. And you can pick any method that resonates most with you here. You will find them all on my channel. And then I was saying this, I know of no clearer definition of the means by which we realize our desires. And remember, Neville studied this stuff also for years and he practiced a lot, he experimented a lot, he had this mentor Abdullah and he's saying he knows of no clearer definition, no more precise way to help someone, to explain this to someone by, by which someone can realize his or her desire than to experience internally, by experience imaginatively, by experience in imagination what you would experience in the flesh were we to achieve our goal. That is why I also always say, what would imply to you that you have it? 
What would be different in your day-to-day life? What would friends tell you, family members tell you, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, what would they tell you if you would have achieved it? What would be different in your day-to-day life? How would you wake up? How would you approach something in your life? Right? What would change? Would you have achieved your goal? Right? What would imply to you personally? What would in, what what action would imply to you that you would have achieved your goal? What act, what imaginal scene, what experience in your life would imply that you have achieved your goal? It can be anything. A smile at the mirror. You know, placing your car keys from your desired car at the shelf. That could imply that you have your new car. You don't have to imagine the moment where you purchase it, right? Go to the end. Ask yourself, what would imply that I have achieved my goal, right? And again, there is no clear definition, no clear go-to way than to manifest that, than to experience that thing that implies the satisfaction, that implies the fulfillment within yourself, right? Experience in imagination what you would experience externally, if the goal would be manifested already, right? It's about the implication of the wish fulfilled. What would imply to you that you've manifested it? And then all the tools we do, the correct premise to imagine and the correct scenes and what to imagine, all of that, at the end, these are all simply tools to maneuver us, to help us identify, to help us to shift into the state of accomplishment, into the state of being it, of having it, to make this our new internal atmosphere, our new internal nature, before then the mirror of life can confirm this. Remember, your circumstances, the mirror of life only has a confirming function. It can only confirm to what is already natural, what is already certain to you with him. So by you imagining and filling up your awareness, filling up your consciousness with the state of the wish fulfilled, with the end, with things that imply you have it, with overhearing people speak about you, the eavesdropping technique, I can link this above. With the congratulation technique, I can also link this above if you want. You will find all of these techniques on my channel if you look through my channel. right? But what this does is it helps you to experience the wish fulfilled within yourself because your imagination is not separate. You, when you close your eyes and you experience that act, that happens within yourself. So you notice that this state of the wish fulfilled is available within yourself. That's why the kingdom of heaven is within you. It's all within you. You're absolutely abundant and whole and complete. Creation is finished. Then you feel really relieved, really relaxed. And because you got it within, right? believe you have received and you will because you already therefore believe that you have received it within already, then you will get it also externally. Right? Believe you have received and you will. Believe you have received and you will. How can you believe that you have received something? Imagination. Right? Second key. You have a desire for something. You believe you have received it by closing your eyes and imagining things using I remember when, using all of these. There's so many different methods. You have to just find one that resonates with you, that gets you into this, into this knowing, into this wish-fulfilled state. You can practice, you can play, you can experiment. I mean, if you need more help with this entire framework, if you want to help, if you want to have help from my side to keep you accountable during this and to find the best technique for you, then simply apply for a free 45-minute consultation call where we can find out together what is the right method for you and if you currently do this correctly and if you want some help with my program. But but that's it, right? That's the second key, imagination. So now we know, okay, we have the desire. Now we know, okay, the second key is we need imagination and we all have imagination. Again, it's the essence of our being. Therefore, we can imagine the end. Right? Therefore, we can detach us from what is currently there and experience an entirely new state of consciousness by placing our awareness on having that, on having achieved that. And then the, the third key is an attention. Right, Remaining your and keeping your attention on the feeling of the wish fulfilled. So you must focus your attention on the feeling of of your wish fulfilled until that feeling fills the mind and crowds all other ideas out of consciousness. Meaning you must fill up your consciousness, your awareness with the feeling of the wish fulfilled, which will lead to this feeling of naturalness, of having achieved it, right? The great secret of success is to focus the attention on the feeling of the wish fulfilled. And imagination is able to do anything, but only according to the internal direction of your attention. You know, imagination can do anything. We can imagine everything. We, we, I'm sure you would agree with me on that. You can, there's nothing that you right now cannot imagine. If you want to stand on a beach, if you want to be in the relationship, if you want to have the car, you can imagine and experience that within all of that. But if you just do it once, and then you go back to lack, to it's not here yet, to having doubts, then your attention is really placed on, on, on not having it, on the lack. But if you can gain control over your attention and you place your attention again on having it, And when you fall out of it, you bring your attention back to having it. And you fill up your awareness again with this satisfaction, with this feeling of the wish fulfilled. 
then you crowd out all doubts, then you crowd out all you know, lack beliefs, all beliefs of it is not here yet, and it becomes more natural, more and more and more certain to you, until the point where you will stop doing these techniques, because it is, you you already really feel that you do have it, there is no more second guessing, no more second doubting, the world could tell you that you don't have it, but you know it for a fact to be true, because you went to the end again and again within. So when you attain control, of the internal direction of your attention, you will no longer stand in shallow water, but will launch out into the deep of life. You will walk in the assumption of the wish fulfilled as the foundation more solid even than earth, because you will then walk by faith and not by sight. You will walk by what your internal world tells you, what you experience within. You will walk by faith, by what is currently unseen to your mortal eyes, what is currently unseen for the world and your friends and family members and everything around you. But you will know that it is true because you will walk by faith and no longer by what your senses permit. That is boldness. That is consciously manifesting. That is bring, making the unseen seen. That is manifesting. Right? I made a video called What is Manifesting? Making the unseen, the unseen already existing reality seen. You can also check this out above. I linked it right now. So when you're able to control the movements of your attention in this objective world, aka your inner world, which only you can have control over, right? Which, which you know, your friends don't know what you are identified with within, but you can control what subjectively you make true for yourself. If you make wealth right now true for you, the circumstances might not show you this back instantly, but if you subjectively remain in that state, it will also be expressed externally. You can modify and alter your life as you please, because you are the operant power. You determine where you dwell within. You determine what you make real for yourself internally. You have control over your inner world, what you identify with, what you shift into. You have imagination. You can imagine other things to be true for you and therefore identify with other things that are currently not present in your life. Yes, but as long as you place your attention on that imagined state and make it natural, it will soon show up. First, it has to happen within, then it happens without. Very straightforward. And these are the three keys. Desire, imagination, and and, and focus attention on the feeling of the wish fulfilled. Until this feels so natural, so certain, your heart is knowing that your life has no other choice than to reflect this back to you. Because this is what it always does. It gives you back what you've given yourself first. Right? Life always gives you what, what, what you have given yourself and experienced within yourself first. That is how manifesting in life works. So if you need more help on this, you will find two links in the video description and in the pinned comments, my free masterclass, and again, an application to schedule a free call with me to find out if we are a good fit to work together on Neville's principles on the law of assumption, where I break this down for you, give you the framework, give you the right application so that you can implement this in your life and have this a lifestyle. So that you eventually can modify and alter your life as you please, that you are a conscious master of your fate, that whenever you perceive an obstacle, you know how to go to the next level. You know how to not dwell on this, how to not entertain this, how to not keep this in your awareness, but place your awareness, your attention, your imagination on what you want instead, right? So that you can really move and accelerate in life. That is my wish for you, that you master your life. So you'll find a lot of videos on my channel. If you have questions and feedback, leave it in the comments down below. And I look forward to speak to you in the next video. Bye, guys.